Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Welcome back to Remote Rewind, where today we delve into the tragic yacht accident that has shocked the world. On August 19th, a devastating storm struck off the coast of Sicily, leading to the sinking of the Bayesian superyacht. This catastrophe resulted in the heartbreaking loss of seven lives, including six passengers and the ship's chef. As investigations unfold, the captain of the yacht, James Cutfield, now faces scrutiny for possible manslaughter after prosecutors confirmed the probe during a press conference on August 24. His attorney, Giovanni Rizzuti, revealed that Cutfield will be requestioned by authorities on August 27th as they gather vital information about the incident. It's essential to note that in Italy, being under investigation doesn't equate to guilt, nor does it guarantee formal charges will be filed. As the investigation proceeds, officials must notify individuals under investigation before conducting necessary procedures, such as autopsies. Authorities are still determining if other crew members may also face investigation alongside Cutfield. The tragedy took a grim turn when the bodies of the missing passengers were discovered, confirming the identities of the victims. Among them were British tech entrepreneur Mike Lynch, his daughter Hannah, prominent figures including Morgan Stanley's Jonathan Bloomer and his wife Judy, and attorney Chris Morvillo with his wife Nita. The body of the ship's cook, Ricardo Thomas, was also recovered shortly after the sinking. Surviving the harrowing experience was Angela Bacares, Mike Lynch's wife, who was among the 15 people rescued after the yacht capsized. Charlotte Golunsky, who also survived alongside her partner and infant daughter, recounted the terror of that night, highlighting the panic and chaos as the storm struck and engulfed them. Authorities believe that a water spout, similar to a tornado but occurring over water, was a significant factor in this tragedy, leaving experts noting that the yacht was in the wrong place at the wrong time. As this investigation continues, we extend our deepest condolences to the families affected by this unspeakable tragedy. We will keep you updated on any developments regarding the investigation and its outcomes. Thank you for joining us here at Remote Rewind. Please like and subscribe for the latest updates on this and other stories. Jerry.